to be a true leader would mean that that strategic vision that you've set is one that truly is linked to your value system. I consider my career to a large extent as bringing finance to the right side of history. The work I've done over the last decade has really been about bringing about this pricing of externalities. And for far too long, Paya, what we had done was made financial decisions without thinking long-term. So short-term financial returns being the priority. We need to change that to make a decarbonized economy a reality. I think we will get to a point where I can look back and say this has been successful when ultimately every financial product is looked at with a sustainability lens and that decisions are made based on what is good for the planet, people, and also profitable. Because I do think that sustainability should involve some pragmatism. And I think that that's a gap that we're seeing today. There will come a day where all financial products essentially have this component of sustainability in them. The decisions are not made without embedding sustainability. To me, that is where the rubber meets the road and we can say that we've been successful in this journey. Sustainable finance will be finance. Love it or hate it, finance is the grease that oils the wheels of the world. It is a major lever of change. And I do think that in order for us to actually meet challenges that we have, to meet the SDGs, for example, there's no way that can happen without finance. Leadership is about bringing people along with you. What sets it apart from every other kind of management is you're setting a clear vision and bringing others on that journey with you. Now, in terms of what kind of leadership is needed to have real impact, it is being true to oneself. To be a true leader would mean that that strategic vision that you've set is one that truly is linked to your value system. The authenticity is key to true leadership. First and foremost, I would say is acknowledging the watershed moment for me, that communication is such a powerful tool. And that alongside advocacy, which has always been a core of mine as I started out pursuing civil liberties and human rights, has certainly shaped the person that I am today. And even though I am working in finance and private equity and I've been in the bond markets, I've been able to take that and remain true to telling a story that could be a financial one, but in a way that shows the impact on people's lives. And I think that's been really key in my success as a manager and as a colleague, in fact, and the ability to bring financial investors on this sustainability journey. My North Star has been, how do I make the world a better place? I've only just changed roles and I've moved industry and I've moved country twice now in the last 12 months. So really I'd say that I have been out of my comfort zone, mainly because I've taken a moment to reflect on my career. And it's been a challenge, I would say, because I had the opportunity to remain doing what I do and do well, still making a difference, or taking on this additional challenge, which means that I am out of my comfort zone. And so for me, it's learning this new industry I am in. And the reason I've done that is because I see the opportunity to make real transformation in businesses. Not so long ago, I decided to create what is my personal board of advisors. I have selected people who are now, I would say, allies from various parts of my life, various industries, my alumni group from CISL. It is so crucial to listen to both sides and see where it is that one can affect change. 
my advice is particularly for young women and mothers. I think that we have to do more to break the culture of expectation. This culture that one should go pedal to the floor in all areas of life. It was such a shock to my system when I became a mother and having to juggle that and my career. And I wondered, how is it that nobody ever shared this? This need to be chef, comedian, cleaner, driver, coach, and then mum to little people and also be head of investor relations or head of sustainable finance. It is possible, but, but there needs to be a balance. And I think women empowering other women is quite key to that. What CISL did for me are two key things. First one being that it exposed me to other areas. Whilst I was an expert in certain areas of sustainability, there were others that were almost foreign to me. The second is just a fundamental shift in how I tell the sustainability story. The sustainability challenges have been told in a way that people were not really listening until recently. And the work that I've done in CISL around how we communicate sustainability has made a critical change in my career.